Let me preface this by saying that a loss of life is a loss of life, particularly an incipient life. This is always tragic, and I wish the best for all the family and loved ones involved. 27-year-old George Nkencho, an Irish-Nigerian man, was shot dead by Gardi on the 30th of December 2020. This sparked BLM protests around Ireland. Ireland has mostly been shielded from these BLM protests that in the US in particular have been seen frequently in recent years. Some of the Irish protests even became violent, with a group throwing objects at Gardaí and harassing them. To be clear, the protests in Ireland were nowhere near as prodigious as the most notorious in the US, but still noteworthy. This is not to say that every BLM protest is unwarranted, but a lot of the protests of alleged police racism are unfounded, or at least excessive. George Ngencho was born in Nigeria, but moved to Ireland with his family when he was seven. At the time of shooting, he was 27. He'd went into a spar shop during which he assaulted an employee and produced a knife. According to Gardi, the staff member had to be treated in hospital for his injuries. He was hurt, but not stabbed. Unarmed Gardi were first to arrive at the scene. They followed him home as he threatened members of the public and the Gardi. They knocked on the door of his house. Gloria, his sister, told the Gardi that Nchenko had mental issues and to leave them alone. Pepper spray and tasers were deployed, neither of which restrained him. Ngencho continued to threaten officers. Finally, as Nkencho lunged at the officers, five shots were fired. Nkenko did have mental health problems. He was arrested on January last year, but it was dealt with under the provisions of the Mental Health Act. It did not result in criminal conviction. The police had been called to his house earlier in the same year following a violent incident in which he made his family members fear for their own safety. Since the protests and unrest, the family have called for calm and unity, and they've told that they don't believe racism was the main factor in what happened. Like a lot of these shootings, calls of racism are pretty baseless. Could this have been prevented? Maybe but I do not blame the Gardaí for reacting in this way to a man lunging at them with a knife. They had exhausted other means by tasing and pepper spraying him. He kept on going regardless of endless calls to drop the knife and lost his life because of it. Twitter is rampant with dumb takes because of the incident. If he was white, he would be alive today with a 25 euro fine in his pocket. Again, completely baseless. He lunged at an armed guard. This one is a bit more reasonable. Mental health is not a crime. It means one is unwell and needs to be cared for, not killed. And while mental health isn't a crime, assaulting a shopkeeper and threatening police with a knife is. State of every single person who supported BLM after the killing of George Floyd in America, but who don't do the same after the killing of George Nchenko in Ireland. George Floyd was restrained on the floor, handcuffed. George Nchenko was actively attacking the police. I don't know how this guy thinks they're comparable. And these guys who claim his shooting was a direct result of the institutional and systematic racism that is apparently rife in Ireland. The story is currently back in the news cycle as the family demands answers for what happened on that day. I feel for the family and they have every right to investigate whether this was due to negligence or if it could have been avoided. But as always, people on the left chalk it up to racism, even though his own family don't believe that so. Black lives do indeed matter, but so do police lives, particularly if someone is lunging at them with a knife. 